Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you in an inside and outside video tour of this 2018 Mercedes-Benz motorhome. This is the Mercedes-Benz turbo diesel V6 powered uh, short motorhome that will fit in almost any campground across the nation, including the hard to get in ones like the state parks and national parks where the campgrounds are a little bit smaller. But it's big, it has a big full wall slide. It is a Mercedes-Benz and it's based on the proven Sprinter chassis. FedEx and major companies love this chassis. They use them for their FedEx delivery trucks and things like that. They're well proven in the industry. It's Mercedes-Benz are very reliable and they have a turbo diesel engine in front. Now this one, the final assembly was by Thor Motor Coach, built as a Thor Motor Coach Freedom Elite 24 FE, like Frank Edward, and it has a full wall slide. This, as, if, as far as RV dealers go, the RV dealers think this is the best floor plan that ever existed and they ordered tons in this floor plan from different manufacturers and that's because this has a full wall slide out so when you park at the campground and you open up the slide out it's double the interior space and the Thor motor coach they're masters of the full wall slide out and this has the triple uh, three track system on it so there's actually three stabilizing tracks to stabilize the slide out so this extends out even further than it does on other makes. On these Mercedes-Benz motorhomes with the slide outs, a lot of times they may only slide out 12 inches. If you're lucky, they'll slide out 24 inches. This one slides out over 30 inches. So it's a big, deep, almost three foot extension to the interior space when you're at the campground. And up overhead, you have a full slide out RV shade and uh, protection awning. It automatically unrolls when the slide is extended. And when you're parked under a tree with squirrels and chipmunks throwing acorns at you. And in the fall, when leaves are dropping on you, you don't, or in the winter when snow is falling, or in the summer when rain is falling, you don't have to worry about the water, snow, and all those other things getting up on top of the slide out. When you're ready to put the camp away, you just put the slide in and all that stuff falls off the top like a conveyor belt. So you don't need to get up there with a broom or anything and sweep it off. It's real convenient. Over here on the campground side, you have a main patio awning that is full length with an LED light strip. It's fully power operated. See that LED light strip, full length LED. Mosquitoes and bugs and things don't really like LED lights, not like they do the incandescent, so it doesn't attract bugs as much. So this motorhome, because it's a short, modest length, is big inside, but it's small outside, so it fits in a regular parking space. I'm gonna give you a drone demonstration. I can back it into this parking space over here and it'll fit in one single parking space. On the back, it's got leveling stabilizer jacks. So the jacks are necessary because it has such a big overhang to support the weight of the uh, leveling jack. But a lot of these short motorhomes don't have any kind of stabilizer jacks. You have to put pads underneath. You can still put pads underneath, but um, it comes with stabilizer jacks so it doesn't move around when you're camping. It's got that giant patio awning. It's got a big towing package on the back with a seven pin connector. Right here, 5,000 pound rated trailer hitch. Let's demonstrate the power awning before we go in. You got power aim uh, heated uh, Mercedes mirrors. You got a little switch right here. Super easy, this is a big giant awning. This is a very large awning for this size motorhome. So it's all about comfort. 
On this uh, passenger side, you have a quick water fill, which a lot of the manufacturers don't give you. It's a gravity fill, so you can add water to your tank really easy. If you're gonna store it, you can add some uh, bleach solution or winterizing solution so that your stuff doesn't freeze in the winter time. Super easy to maintain. On the Thor Motor Coach, they give you an outside quick connect so the critters and stuff won't get in through your connection points. That's the advantage here. Everything on the outside, there's no place for critter entry of rodents or squirrels or things like that that want to come in where it's warm. What I'm talking about on the other side, you have a quick connect power point right here. So you push and turn and uh, there's no bottom entry where the critters are going to come in when the RV is stored. Down underneath you have these big storage compartments. On the driver's side you have one big storage compartment and one small one. Up on the roof we have max air vent covers. Here's an example right here. This big vent cover. There's a lot of room. You could put a full size suitcase, some golf clubs, things like that actually fit in this motorhome. And inside there are LED lighted compartments. All the lights on this coach are LED including the clearance lights and things like that. Over here, you have a uh, propane quick connect so you can plug in the exterior barbecue and connect it to your onboard propane tank. So you don't have to bring extra propane tanks when you camp. It's a very nice setup. I'm gonna try to keep the video short. Let's go inside, then we'll talk about the top and underneath a little bit. Let's go inside. Going inside this Mercedes-Benz motorhome. This has the full wall slide open right now, which gives us a lot of floor space because this full wall slide opens deep, which opens it up big when you're in the campground. Now we have a queen bed, a walk around queen bed in the back. A lot of motorhomes on the Mercedes chassis have much smaller beds, but this is a real walk around queen where you can get to both sides without climbing over the bed. Oversized dinette. It's actually deeper than most dinettes. It's a very large table. This is enough uh, space for six people on the dinette. And it has storage underneath. It has two seat belts um, here and two seat belts in the front. So it's four seat belts total built from the factory into the motorhome. Up on the Mercedes dash you have a navigation screen mirroring capable radio but um, that's a also supports a backup camera we'll talk about that in a minute. Up over the cab you have a bunk area that can sleep two people and there's storage cubbies inside which I have my towel in there to blue and white to identify how big it is. That's a big old beach towel. It's enough to put a case of bottled water laying flat in there and there's another one on the other side. Additional uh, storage on both sides of the bed. And this top piece can slide into position to make into a bed and then you have the roof access ladder. As we look at the front seats they do swivel around they swivel around so that you can sit in them and enjoy conversations with the people in the interior it's possible to order booster seats so that you can sit at a higher seat height so they swivel around just like this the mercedes builds them with a swivel mount it works really good and then adjust it for your height they're height adjustable. There's power, there's a adjustable lumbar and lower back pillows. Lots of adjustments that Mercedes gives you to make it easy. And of course you can slide them forward and back in the reverse position as well. And you see there's a privacy curtain over the front when those is installed. So the roof access ladder goes into position here. So you can easily access the bunk once you've slid the piece in here. And this is big enough for two adults 
and it has large cup holders in the corner over there so you can uh, keep your drinks from spilling it's bigger than most of these uh, Mercedes because the TV is out of the way a lot of them the TV is right here and it intrudes into the bunk area but this one doesn't have the TV in the way so theoretically you could sleep three kids short ones going the long way or two adults going parallel with the length of the bed you have a big curtain to go over the front and window shades just for the parking lot and there are privacy curtains over this there is air conditioning vents and a roof vent in case they wanted to open it over the bunk led lights with a push button activation super easy to turn on and off on both sides so when you want to turn the lights on or off it's real easy at night you have a window so if you hear a noise it sounds like a bear growling outside that you can look out the window at night or in the daytime as well if you're up there sleeping and you do hear a bear at night you can watch it won't be able to get into this because it's a hard-sided motorhome be thankful that you didn't stay in a tent i mean tents are less expensive but when bears are around this is where you want to be it's got a lot of storage in this motorhome compared with other similar motorhomes this has a lot more storage so you have storage over the dinette three big compartments a very large and deep and wide wardrobe compartment in here this large wardrobe section with full length drawers underneath look how big these drawers are big and deep and you've got three of them when we go look at the other side there's a state-of-the-art refrigerator with a digital LCD control panel this is a smart refrigerator this is a more advanced not your typical RV refrigerator this one has gas or electric uh, heat capability and it works really well it's very efficient and I believe it has even uh, defrost capability which it's a compact size but it's it's nice over the fridge there is a, another storage cabinet the blu-ray player for the RV is in here and you can feed blu-ray to the front or rear TV very large storage over the cooktop because the microwave is not up here the microwave is down below so that was a compromise that gives you a lot more storage down underneath the three burner cooktop we have the convection microwave speed cook 50 percent faster cooking than a traditional oven it's convection microwave grill it's a very nice stainless steel inside an advanced unit and even underneath the unit there's additional storage underneath all these drawers lots and lots of drawers double stainless sink most of these Mercedes only give you one round sink about this size but you get twice as much double sink area very large window over the kitchen LED lights under the countertop and a fan switch so you've got these weatherproof vent covers over the kitchen so you can leave this open even if it's raining outside to vent your cooking uh, gases if you need a more powerful fan it, we have a capability to add one of those if you ask for it but this one is works pretty good we tested it out and it actually works really well the heat rises and goes right out and to make sure you have fresh air you can open this window very easily it's a tinted window and then you have fresh air going straight up and out to exhaust your cooking gases there is a metal protective strip over the top but this actually works better and you have more clearance than a lot of uh, cooktops so we have a three burner cooktop it's very easy to light you just turn it to light and then you make a spark super easy you've got all three burners usually you only need one but you have three and my wife says you could get away with two but they give you three 
And these are large, fully functioning three burner cooktop right there. And of course, directly below the exhaust fan. So all the fumes will go up and out as heat rises. We installed a nice premium quality paper towel holder so the paper towels won't unroll when you're driving and you'll, you have easy access to the paper towel from the kitchen or from outside. If you just reach in the door, you can grab a paper towel instead of yelling at your family members, hey, can you hand me a paper towel? They're right here with easy access to the outside. Um, so when you're cooking outside on the barbecue or something and you need a paper towel, no problem. So the double sink, we have the water enabled right now. So different settings, you've got spray, stream, or stop. And this has the Insta Hot water heat. So when you take a shower, I'm going to explain that in a minute when we get to the bathroom. But this has instant hot, continuous flow water heat system. Which means you probably won't burn yourself in the kitchen. It's very unlikely. Because if you set the temperature correctly, it'll never get hot enough on the hot side to burn you. So you can just sit here and run hot all day. Continuous flow. And it'll be nice hot 100 degree stream but not 140 degree stream which could burn you but you can set the temperature there's a control in the restroom I'm going to show you that next so we're going to talk about the restroom now this is a large restroom and it has the insta hot water heater system on here a designer stylish shower here this is approximately three feet by seven foot restroom which on the full wall slide floor plan a lot of the manufacturers are going with this restroom size you have a nice toilet down there you have another sink a bigger sink a lot of the mercedes have a little tiny sink that you can't really use but this is a very functional sink you can brush your teeth wash your face or whatever in the sink area and it's angled fully operational and instant hot water very nice and the shower we put a brand new valve to make sure that there's not going to be any leaks one of the most common annoyances with rvs for some reason these shower valves tend to crack and then they leak behind and then you have a water leak and you don't know where it's coming from so it's a brand new shower valve and it has a brand new shower head as well so these are brand new and um, it has a privacy curtain you slide it across and you pull it like so and it connects it holds the shower closed and it's uh take this release it and it's out of the way very simple easy to use uh shower now i'm going to talk about the instant continuous flow hot water heater system here we have a digital display so you can set your temperature right now it's set for 101 i can increase it turn it warmer but I recommending 101 102 kind of the temperature of a hot jacuzzi okay so when you take your shower you don't even touch the cold you turn on hot full blast and leave it on especially if you're at the campground connected at the campsite full blast hot water and then no problem you just got this continuous flowing hot water that's 102 degrees and you can take a shower for three hours if you want if you're at the campsite with your gray tank valve open it'll just nice long shower as long as you want to take um super efficient at the campground um it doesn't have a reserve tank to hold hot water so the normal procedure you turn on the hot water, get out of the way for a few seconds while the cold water flows and then the hot water comes out and it's 100 degrees. So it won't burn you. It's just continuous, smooth, even temperature and it works really well. And then um, you have different um, buttons you can push here to enable the system. But if you want to look it up, you can read the instructions. I'm not going to get in all the detail of the hot water system, but it's very efficient. And so you're not wor worrying 
about running out of hot water unless you run out of propane weatherproof vent cover so this vent can stay open so when people are doing their business in here taking showers using restroom in the camp or on the road just leave this open you don't have to worry about the wind blowing off the cover or rain coming in because it can't it's protected and it does have a roof fan so you can keep constant flow of air circulating through here they also on this model give you a handle so when you're driving down the road going shaking back and forth and you need to use the restroom you have something to hold on to which is kind of convenient or if you're a little older you got a little hand handle bar to help you maneuver in the restroom it's easy to get in and out you have your angle angle door here and they also give you a towel rack right here if you have guests and you need to change, you have a privacy curtain so you can have people changing either in the restroom or in the back corner of the motorhome. Now beside the queen bed here, we have cubbies here on the one side and we have additional storage over the bed. A lot of storage in the side of this motorhome and a lot of basement storage. There's a lot more storage in this one than the similar looking models. Now I'm going to show you how you put the slide in because people might get confused about how this bed works. This bed, when you're ready to put the slide in, you just grab the corner of the mattress and you flip it over. This mattress is designed to flip over like that. And then you come over here to the control panel. You've got all your controls right here. you got generator start, step on or off. I'm going to explain all these buttons as we go while I put the slide in. I'm going to make sure the ladder is out of the way. And I'm going to retract the slide. This has that high performance Schwintech mechanism. That actually keeps the RV stiff and stable. When you're driving down the road, it, you don't get a lot of creaks or anything like that. The RV is wall, even though it's as if it were a giant hole cut in the box, that slide mechanism keeps it as part of the RV so it doesn't flex and twist and stuff like that like you might think it would. It's very secure. So the RV bed comes in, slides all the way in. It's a very deep so it takes a little bit to move it all the way in and then when it stops you let go of the switch. that's it it's in you can still get to the restroom you can still open the restroom door especially kids can easily get in there adults you might have to move the slide open a little bit because it's a very deep slide out it's not really possible to sleep for practical purposes on the rear bed if the slide is in but the dinette could be converted to a sleeping position and the front bunk is always available if you needed to sleep in here um, without putting the slide out this is still available or you could use it for storage of course you have a lot of capability if you wanted to just put stuff up there like pet kennels or whatever you can think of people can always think of stuff they want to store in their RVs so we're gonna start the generator this has a propane generator So with the propane generator, you actually uh, have more reliability than with gasoline generators and probably more reliable than diesel generators because it doesn't take as much power to start it. Right now it's very low hours, it's only got 29.1 hours. When I have got this it had even less than that, it probably had like 20 hours. I put at least 9 hours on this generator. Um, you have a level test. Propane level is two-thirds, battery level is full, fresh tank is half, black tank is empty, and gray tank is empty. So everything is right here, and it's right next to the driver's entry door, so that makes life easy. You don't have to walk all the way in to access this panel if you're doing uh, functions. Now, I'm going to open the slide, extending the slide out. People like to see the slide operate most important thing to remember is make sure that you don't have shoes or something stuck 
in the path where the slide will travel that will interfere with it in the front or the back. Make sure it's clear and then the slide will go right out. Smooth operating slide out. Piece of cake. Opens right up and the air conditioner came on while we're doing this. It's nice and quiet. It's not not the noisiest air conditioner. It's pretty quiet. So I really appreciate that and it does have ducts so you can have cross flow circulation when you're running the air conditioning in the summer. It works really good. They use the same air conditioning on the much larger motorhomes and it works really well. Now the flooring, we're going to talk about the flooring. The flooring is a zero carpet flooring in this motorhome. There's no carpet anywhere to worry about. Nothing to trap odors. This is almost a brand new motorhome. Almost. And there are no odors in here. But once you've had this for three or four years, if you let little pets run around in here and things like that, you know, uh, or have some cooking spills or whatever, you don't, you don't have to worry about it trapping odors. There actually is some carpet on the corner of the bed, but that's just a concealment cover uh, to give you a smooth place to, to sit. But other than that, there is no carpet anywhere in the motorhome, not in the restroom, not in the kitchen, not in the front. So when you get in the gas, when you step in from the gas station and you have gook on your feet, there's no carpet to mess up. You can of course put some floor mats in here, no problem. Just regular automotive floor mats is not, not an issue. But uh, it's nice and it's clean in here. We're talking about a 2018 that's almost brand new. So the oversized dinette is a dream dinette, so it turns into a bed in seconds. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to show you how that works. You have to lift the cushions out of the way. And I'm doing it one handed here. So that means it's easy. And you just lift gently up. And then underneath, there's a lever. You flip it over and it locks so it won't go down. It's almost like a table elevator. Holds it in the up position. And then you tuck your cushions back in. It flip the lever over, push it down, or push it up and flip it back. And that holds it in a table position or lets it turn into a bed. Very easy. I'm gonna talk real quick about the televisions. These are both 32 inch HD TVs. This one you can see when you're driving. So when you're sitting over here in the booth, the passengers can watch this one while driving. They can watch a movie, DVD, Blu-ray, hook up a video game. It has an amplifier, which is right here. This little button with a green LED. You turn this off and then that's your antenna signal booster. The green LED has to be on for you to get over the air broadcast. Very common in RVs and a lot of people don't know about this because they think why my TVs don't work. It's a little button right here and they usually put those in all different places depending on the manufacturer. It's a TV signal booster. Um, but you get right in my area you get 150 channels of over-the-air free television and it's capable to put a satellite dish on top or a portable one but you don't need a satellite dish in the metropolitan areas this is just over the air broadcast we're picking up the game we're not hooked up to anything we're just getting it off the airwaves and the bedroom tv very large 32 inch hd tv it has hdmi it has a digital tuning so also here 150 channels you can pick up you can watch the blu-ray movie or you can plug in your fire stick. I tried it with a fire stick um, 4K and I was able to watch Amazon movies on the TV no problem. In the bedroom you have the master air condition and the heat control right here so if you're laying in bed and you're too warm or too cold you can dial in the temperature you want right here have the fan running or not running and you have a lot of windows in the bedroom too one two three bedrooms you have bay view windows in the slide out so when the slide is open you have a panoramic views so when you park next to the lake or the ocean or the river or in the desert or in the mountains 
you've got the possibility to look out your tinted windows and see what's going on. All the lights in here are LED. It's a very nice coach. So we're going for a little test drive in this Mercedes motorhome. We have great visibility out our mirrors. Both sides, I can see right down the side of the motorhome. If I put it in reverse, I have my backup camera. But especially to note, you can see right down the side of the right side of the motorhome. Some of these are a little bit wider and they're hard to see down the right side because of the extra couple inches of width. But this one, it's no problem to see down the right side. So it's a Mercedes turbo diesel. It has a lot of torque and it's a V6, three liter. I get questions, is it a five cylinder? What is the engine? This is a V6, three liter Mercedes. So when I come to this little cul-de-sac, I believe if nobody comes, I can back it in in a three point turn. I'm gonna put it in reverse. I'm gonna signal for reverse. I'm gonna do a backup demonstration to see as long as nobody's behind me and I'm watching my mirrors and my backup camera and I'm backing right into a little cul-de-sac here. See that? No problem to maneuver this motorhome. Super easy to drive. I'm gonna give you a parking demonstration of fitting this RV into a single parking space. We're going for that one right there. So I'm gonna try to back it in. Looking at my mirror over here. Turning super sharp. See if I can fit it into the correct parking space. The wheel is fully turned. And we're backing it up. Got my backup camera display. Back tires touch and we stop. Let's see how we did. We have the generator running right now. There we are. We've parked in one parking space. The front is not overhanging. The rear is, but you have to choose wisely your parking spaces if you want to back in like this. We have extra space inside on the passenger side for opening the door. So you have to find a spot like this where you can back in. There's no poles or anything in the way and you can park in a single parking space. They're very often in some of these places, the nice places, but compared with a big 35 or 40 footer, they have no chance in taking such a small space. You do have to watch out for spaces with poles and things like that. You wouldn't want to hit a pole when you back in, but you do have a backup camera so it makes it easy. We've walked up to the roof here to show you what's up on top. I mentioned we have the full wall slide with its uh, protective awning. We have the main patio awning, which is rolled up right now. You have a digital over-the-air TV antenna, which you can turn and aim at the get the best signal from the TV stations for free over-the-air broadcast. High-powered Coleman Mach roof air conditioner system which is powerful enough to keep it cool in the summertime no problem you've got these weatherproof vent covers on two of the vents the important ones over the kitchen and the bathroom so these vents can stay open two vents can stay open and you can even leave the fans running even if it's raining or snowing you have constant vent flow of ventilation and the manufacturer gives you a quick connect for solar if you want to add solar to it that's right here. It's pre-wired for solar power. So these are solar connects actually mounted on the roof. Some of the manufacturers give them on the side, but this is up on the roof, so you can permanently mount solar panels up here if you need to. There's a second Max Air vent cover over here. And they actually give you four vents. So there's a, an extra vent over the bedroom. If you were gonna go into some extreme summer conditions, you could even add a second roof air conditioning possibly into this additional vent 
might be possible. And then there's another uh, vent in the front over the bunk area. So you usually don't need to use those. And then we drove this from Texas to California and we did a proving run and it's real quiet driving. We made sure that to eliminate any squeaks or rattles that we could find. It's a very nice, smooth running motorhome. Let's go down. I turned it around so you could get an idea how much shade there really is. It's a lot of shade produced by this big full awning. And it is height adjustable. If you have the sun facing the other direction, you can pull these booms down. And look how much shade we have for our campground area. So I'm wrapping up my video tour of this 2018 Mercedes-Benz motorhome. I really like these short ones. They're super easy to drive. They have diesel power. The top speed is faster than the bigger ones. They go 80 miles an hour, actually a little bit more if the speed limit is allows for it. Uh, they have an electronic limitation at like 83 miles an hour. See if this RV is still available by checking my website, mybestcar.com. The company name that you're gonna pay the check to is a buyer's choice. Thank you for watching.